Hello and thank you again for looking at our website. I'd like to share with you today an incredible verse from the Bible that sets out a grand invitation. There's something quite wonderful about getting a personal invitation. Well, that's exactly what this verse is about. It is a personal invitation. The verse says this, these are words of the Lord Jesus. Come unto me, all you that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, said the Lord Jesus, all you that labour and are heavy laden, and I will, I guarantee, give you rest. I want to think just for a few moments of four things. The first is this. I want to think about an invitation that is compelling. Come. Think of that invitation. An invitation that is yours personally. An invitation that means that you matter to him. He has given you that invitation. It's an invitation that says he wants your company. An invitation that says that you are important to him. Come, he says to you. What an amazing thing. To receive an invitation from the Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, the one that came into this world and is interested in you as an individual, come unto me. An invitation that is compelling. But more than that, I want to think about a person, the person that is calling. Come unto me, said the Lord Jesus. That is what he didn't say. He didn't say come to religion or even come to church or come to an organisation or even come to a set of beliefs and doctrines. He said come to me. The Lord Jesus, he came from heaven into this world in order that you might have this invitation. This is an invitation that's not been given from afar. He has come right where you are in order that you might receive that invitation. Come unto me. But not only did he come exactly where you and I are, here on planet Earth, he left heaven for here. You ever wondered about that? He exchanged heaven for here, in order that you might get that invitation. But not, more, but not just that. This is the one whose life makes him infinitely attractive. To think about the one man that only ever told the truth. The one, only, the one man who only ever did that which was good, kind, loving. The one man in whom there was no hypocrisy, no sides, no two-facedness. The man that was straight with absolutely everybody. The man who cared. The man who had the power to change lives. The man who's demonstrated his love for you by going out to a cross, willingly, voluntarily, giving up his life, that you might have forgiveness, that you might be offered salvation, that you might know what it is to have a place in heaven. That man says, come unto me. But I want to tell you one more thing. The man who triumphed over death, rose again from the dead, the man that's victorious, the man that's in heaven to die, he says, come unto me. If, could there be any greater invitation, any greater attraction than the person of the Lord Jesus? He says, come unto me, the person that is calling. But I want to tell you thirdly about the problem that is devastating. All you that labour and are heavy laden. The Lord Jesus, as it were, puts his finger on a huge problem. All that are labouring, working hard to find peace with God, but not getting there. Working hard to find rest of conscience, but not getting it. Working hard to find the hope of heaven, and not arriving. Or you, that labour. I wonder today, is that the record of your life? You tried to change it, 
you've tried to improve it, you've worked hard to make things different, and yet time after time you found yourself back on square one, no bit different, still disappointed, still no peace with God, no rest of conscience, no hope for eternity. The Lord Jesus calls you, come unto me, all you that labour. And he says, are heavy laden. Perhaps it is today that you look within, you look at your own life and you realise the things that you have done wrong. Things that you've said, things that you've done, things that you've, you've thought, the things that have occupied your mind. And you know they're wrong. Not because society says so, or your parents, or someone else, but your conscience tells you that the God of heaven says they're wrong. The Bible has a word for it, it's called sin. And have that sense of the burden of unforgiven sin. The Lord Jesus appeals to you. Come unto me. All you. That labour. And are heavy laden. Friend, today can I tell you that he appeals to people just like you. So that you might know what it is to have the rest that he offers. That's what I want to talk about last of all. The promise that is absolutely breathtaking. I will give you rest. Think of that as a promise. Promised by the man who kept every other promise he has made. Promised by the man who has proven his ability to change lives. Promised by the man who now sits in heaven and the ability to give you what you so earnestly need. I will give you. But I want to notice this. He says, I will give you. He doesn't say, I will sell you. He doesn't say to you, you know, I, I will loan it to you. Neither does he say, I'll exchange it with you if you do something for me. He simply says, I will give. I will give. Not to pay. Not to work for. But simply to receive as a free gift. I will give. And all that you and I have to do to acknowledge that we need his salvation. We need that gift. We need to receive that life from him. We need that hope for eternity. We need our sin forgiven. And we simply accept the gift that he offers by just trusting in him. Recognising we are what we are. We are sinners who can, no matter how hard we work, we won't change that. And to realise that in trusting the Lord Jesus, we can receive that which he has given. I will give you rest. Rest of conscience. I have peace with God. Rest from labour because I now I'm not working for heaven and forgiveness. I've got it by trusting the Lord Jesus. And rest for eternity. Sure of heaven. Whether my days on earth are many or few. I know I am heaven bound. I, says the Lord Jesus, will give you rest. What an incredible invitation. Will you not respond to it today? And trust the Lord Jesus as your saviour. And have the rest that he offers to all.